Hello, boys and girls. Today is Thursday, and I'm bringing you your math lesson. So before we get started, I need you to gather your materials. Remember, I'm going to tell you what you need to bring, and then you're going to pause and go get that. I need your math workbook and a pencil. Also, a whiteboard and a marker. Now, if you prefer to use just a piece of scrap paper, that's fine too. Then you'll just use your pencil, or if you want to use your whiteboard and your marker, that's fine too. Go ahead and hit pause, then come right back to me. Welcome back, friends. So let's get started on our math lesson today. Okay, today we will count on to add and add numbers in any order. Remember we did that yesterday, we switched around the order of our numbers. Today we're going to do more with counting on. Our topic one essential question or what are the strategies for adding for finding addition and subtraction facts? We're still working on addition. What do you notice? What do you notice? Notice that we did add numbers in a different order. We flipped the orders yesterday and today we're going to count on. All right, our solve and share. So now I want you to grab your whiteboard and your marker or your paper and your marker and I want you to solve this problem. Jane ate six little cookies and Jill ate seven little cookies. How many cookies did they eat in all? Solve and explain. Jane ate six little cookies and Jill ate seven little cookies. How many cookies did they eat in all? Solve and explain. Now, when you pause your video, you'll work on the problem. Also, if you want to get counters to work on this also, that's fine too. Just start the video again when you have completed your problem. All right, friends, you are back. Now, let's solve this together. All right, so Jane, I'm going to put my little charts down here. Jane ate seven little cookies and Jill ate six. Now, if I need to know how many cookies they ate in all, am I going to add or subtract? Remember, when we started, when I wrote our objective, that means what we're learning today, we talked about addition. We are adding, plus the problem said how many in all, when you see in all, it's usually an addition problem. Now, if I'm gonna solve the problem the way I did yesterday, I'm gonna draw my circles. So seven circles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus six circles, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm going to count them all up together like I did yesterday. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So thirteen. I actually just counted on. I had seven here and then I counted on from seven. So I started with my first add-in my first number here, and I went from 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that's what you do when you count on. You start at the first add-in, and then you continue with the second add-in. So I count on here, I did 4 plus 3 equals 7. So I have 4, then I have 3 more circles. I'm counting on from 4, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let's look at a video to get a little more information. Cool cars, Moby. You've got a big collection. How many do you have? How do you count on one to add? When you add, 
You join groups or numbers together to find the total. Let's see. You have one, two, three blue cars. You add one pink car to the group. So we can start with three and count on one to get four. Let's see. You have six green cars and one red fire truck. You can use a number line. Friends, do you remember our number line from last year? Now, this isn't an open number line. This gives you all of your numbers on there. Remember, these arrows mean that if you go that way, it's smaller to the left. If you go this way to the right, then you grow your number. They're going to go over more about number lines in this video. To help you add, you start with six and count on one more to get seven. When you count on one, you count up one more. How do you count on two to add? You have seven white cars and two orange tractors. You start with seven and count on two more. Eight, nine. There are nine all together. You can write a number sentence to show how you added the groups. You have a group of seven white cars and a group of two orange tractors. The plus sign tells to add the groups together. Seven plus two is equal to nine. Now you have eight silver cars and two motorcycles. You start with eight and count on two more to get 10. So 8 plus 2 is equal to 10. All together, you have 10. The sum is the answer to an addition problem, or how many you have in all. The sum of 8 plus 2 is 10. You can add the groups together in a different order and still get the same total. Well, you can add the motorcycles to the cars or add the cars to the motorcycles. Either way, the sum is still 10. How do you count on three to add? You have nine vans and three dump trucks. How many do you have in all? Start with nine and count on three to get to 12. Nine plus three is equal to 12. When you add, it helps to start with the larger number and then count on the smaller number. Well, it takes more time to start at three and count on nine. Hmm, sometimes you add nothing. How do you count on zero? When you add zero, you do not add anything. Here are five buses. Do you have more to add? So, you add zero. You still have five buses. Five plus zero is equal to five. You can write the number sentence up and down, too. You'll still get the same answer. I think there are no more cars left, Moby. No, wait, I found some. You started with zero cars, but I gave you three. So now you have three cars. Zero plus three is equal to three. You've got a great collection, Moby. Moby? That's silly, Moby. He is so silly. 
All right, friends, so what I would like you to do now is I would like you to turn to page six in your workbook. Page six. We're going to look at number one, number one. Now, number one, we see three plus one equals four. The cubes are there for us and the add-ins are in different colors. Let's practice that together. So I'm gonna draw those cubes. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we have our equation, three plus one equals four. Now let's count on. If we have three, and we're going to count on one. So one, two, three, four. So that brings us to four. And that's our answer. Now, if we're going to flip them like we did yesterday, what add-in would we start with? We're going to start with a one. One plus. Now I'm flipping, so I'm going to use three. Am I going to get the same answer this time? Do you think I'm going to get four? Yes. Okay, let's see. I'm going to write there's a four, but I'm going to draw my blocks, so though. One over here, plus one, two, three. So I have one. I'm going to count on two, three, four, and that's my answer. So they're already filled in there. You could just trace them. All right, let's look at number two. Now this problem is vertical. That means it goes up and down. It's not across, up and down. All right, so we have four plus three. Four plus three. And what's really nice is they have two different colors there. So the yellow, we have four blocks. Now I'm gonna count on that three. So let's do that together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I get seven. Blocks are there for you. So what would be your next equation? What would be your next equation? We have purple blocks, three purple blocks, and then four yellow blocks. What would be your next equation? So it's going to be three plus four equals seven. Let's count them up and make sure it's the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's seven. Now, we're going to do some practicing on your own. Now, you're going to have to ask mom and dad for your practice problems. They're on your s'more. It's on a form, but I'm going to show you how to do this. All right, so you're going to get a form. Now it's not going to look like mine here because it's going to have some math problems, but I just want to show you how to click on the answers. So let's do this together. Now here's my first question. Bakerfield School is the best school. Now we know that it is the best school. So would I click true or false? I'm going to click true. Last year, I was in what grade? Now here are your options. You have fifth, you have second, you have first, you have fourth. What grade were you in last year? First grade. So you're going to fill in that one, that first circle there. And your last question here, the weather in summer is, is it cold or is it hot? Which one, friends? Oh, it's hot. And then you're going to click submit. So you're going to have five problems to work on. And you're going to click just one of those circles for the right answer. And then you're going to click submit and it's going to go right to your teacher. And that's your practice for today. I hope you enjoyed your math lesson today. Have a fabulous day. Bye.